we will continue looking to optimizations in um, multi -paxos. so what we would like to do now is to look to um, how we can avoid sending sequences and the basic idea is we just send increments of sequences or information so so far messages contain entire sequences but the sequences can be very large so if we are implementing a replicated state machine used to say to maintain a transaction log in a database then these can easily be gigabytes of data so the algorithm that we have right now is not practical so the next sequence of optimization will eliminate sending redundant information that's what we want to do so here is our algorithm until now we have seen this from the last unit where the last optimization put was uh, remove uh, prepare or prepare once also and uh, pipeline accept now we would like to actually avoid sending sequences in different messages so let us look first how we do that so if we here we are sending a sequence which is VA this is the sequence at the acceptor or the replica and how can we avoid doing this this is coming from uh, a prepare message from a proposal so in fact a proposal need to include the length of the decided sequence in the prepare message so the proposal needs to include the length of its decided sequence in the prepare message in this case the the promise in that case need to send back to the proposer the difference between what the acceptor knows and the decided sequence in the proposal so we send only the difference between these two so this we can optimize this message if we look to the accept message the accept message needs not to carry the whole sequence but need to carry the delta between the new extended sequence and what each acceptor knows if we look to the accepted message here we don't need to send the whole sequence we just need to send the length of what is accepted so far and also in the case of a decide message we need only to carry the extension of what has been already decided uh, before so this is the plan what we want to do by doing this we are going to avoid sending sequences back and forth so what we have so far we have optimized the case when a single proposal runs for a longer period of time and now we will add an assumption this assumption will help us do the optimizations that I just mentioned this assumption is that we will assume that each process acts in all roles it means it will act as a proposer as an acceptor and as a learner in particular proposers and acceptor will know what is decided they will know v sub d so let us look now how to optimize the um, promise message this is the one we want to optimize again just at a very high level the idea is that if the proposer which he is also a learner now since the length of what it knows as decided then the promise can only send the delta of what the acceptor knows and the decided sequence at the proposer so a proposer sends a prepare message to the acceptor queue that respond with a promise message as we said so we have a promise message here and VA is the accepted sequence at the acceptor queue and VD is a, now is a de decided sequence at proposer P so currently the promise message 
contains the entire sequence VA. But P knows that the sequence that it will eventually adopt is an extension of what it has as VG. So this is the idea. So the changes is that the prepare message should include the length of the decided sequence at the proposer and the promise message should include the suffix the at the acceptor instead of the whole uh, sequence accepted at the acceptor, the suffix only. So this is the suffix of VA starting after L. And the proposal reconstructs the adopted sequence. So this code is quite easy. So this is, uh, this is the code for on propose, and this is the code for promise. So when a proposal sends a prepare, it's, it adds here the length of the decided sequence to all acceptors, and it gets back the delta from the acceptor. It is added to the set S. When there is a majority, pick the max of this from from the set S, and then add what the proposer knows. In this case, in fact, it is, in general, what it knows. Initially, it will be VD when it comes the first time, but after that, it's extended. It added as a, a suffix, and then it will send this information to the acceptor. So what we have done now, we have modified this message and we have modified this message. And I didn't show the prepare message in detail, but this is how the prepare does. So the prepare gets with it the length of the decided sequence. The prepare gets the decided sequence and then sends the suffix of its accepted sequence here. Now let us look to the accept message. So at the acceptor, when when acceptor accepts a message, V, it picks as usual the maximum sequence and round number and sends that sequence as accepted to the proposer. For round number N, there is something quite interesting is that after Q has accepted a proposer sent by P, it also knows that that what it has accepted must be a prefix of what the proposer knows. So this is a prefix of what the proposer knows. So in this case, if we look, we want to trim this message, as I said, uh, then it doesn't really need to send any information of the sequence. It just needs to send what is the length of this sequence back to the proposer. All right, so, so this optimization, which is called trim accepted, basically avoid sending sequence in accepted message from acceptor to a proposer. And after Q has accepted a proposal sent by P, it must be the case, as I said, that what it has accepted is a prefix of what the proposal knows then it will replace sending the whole accepted sequence by just the length of this sequence. And the proposer can create what the acceptor knows from its sequence and the length of that prefix. And we'll be going to see now in the code if we see L is supported means that the prefix is supported. And a prefix is supported if it is chosen. I mean, there is a majority of acceptors that has this prefix. Okay, so here is our message, accepted message. The only thing we know now that we have added the length of the accepted sequence at the acceptor. Now, here is a response at the proposer of uh, the 
accepted message. So it has these lengths, this is alpha. It updates the longest sequence it has accepted from Q. I mean the length of that longest sequence that's accepted from Q. And then if that if lambda C is less than L and the prefix that we have now, prefix up to L is supported, it means there is a majority of it, then we update the longest sequence so far and we send the decide. And the decide now, as you can see, will send only that prefix. This is the thing that we know it is decided to the learners. We are going to optimize this later. Okay. But now we have optimized this, this, and this. So this is our optimization we have done so far. The prepare, send the decided sequence. The replica or the acceptor, send the suffix of A, of, v, of VA. On accept, the accepted message sent has a length of VA. This VA is received at the proposal. And then we now send the, in the decide message, we send the prefix of the sequence at VA that we now know it is decided. If it is, of course, uh, an extension of the previous decided sequence. All right. So let us now trim this message. This is what we have now. We want to trim this message. This is a long sequence, so we have to trim. Now, we know this assumption that, the, that we said before. We know this assumption that each process plays all roles. And now we will add another assumption. And that assumption actually is interesting. The assumption that, in fact, proposers have FIFO links to the acceptors. So we are using FIFO perfect link. It means as long as the sender and receivers are correct, messages will be received by the receiver. And they will be received in the source order, the order that they, that they were sent. So we are assuming now this perfect link assumption. This is important for incremental accepts, as we will see later. And in fact, it has no a performance penalty. So out of order commands has to be buffered anyway before decision. So you can buffer this in the link abstraction or in the consensus abstraction. This assumption is better choice given that the buffering is already done at the lower network stack. So it is almost uh, a natural fit when dealing with sequences. This of course happens while the proposer and the acceptors are correct, not faulty. If you remember, this assumption does not make any sense uh, or is not important for all the messages that we just have described before. This is only would be important when we are incrementally sending accept messages with the extra commands. And it's also for incrementally adding to the decided set of commands. It's not a too strong assumption. In fact, it is very easy. In the PSI model, you get five for perfect link from perfect link by just adding sequence numbers. And many practical systems use this assumption, like Zookeeper, for example. Zookeeper is a system used as a coordination services in different data centers and big data tools and systems. So if we implement a perfect link on the top of TCP, then five was more or less already provided. Okay. So let us now look to how to trim this site. So we want to avoid sending the entire sequence in the side message 
from a proposer to an acceptor. Now, if P decides on a sequence to Q, then P has previously sent accept to Q. So this is an interesting. If I decide on a sequence, then I have already send accept to Q. And messages arrive in the same order due to the FIFO assumption. So accept message and the acceptor comes before the decide message at the acceptor. So accept happens first, then later when we accept enough message, we're going to send the decide. Okay. However, an accept may be blo blocked by higher promise, so decide message must also contain the proposal number. Okay. So values in decide instead of sending the whole value is replaced by the length the length of that decided sequence q can reconstruct in fact that decided sequence and it is a prefix of what it has so here is a point i just want to make we just uh, we said that if a proposer it's going to send the decide to an acceptor, it's going to send this message. So it has already sent this message before. Therefore, the acceptor has all the information that it has sent back. So whatever is sent here is a prefix of what this acceptor has already. So here is our optimization. So in the decide, we just the length of the sequence that is decided. Earlier we had this, it's called lambda, we can call it lambda here too, it's quite okay. And on the decide side, in the learner, if we are in the right round, and what is already decided is a, a prefix of what it already has, then the, we update the decided sequence to be the prefix of VA. And then we trigger. So this is the total optimization we have done now with the trim decide. In fact, we have trimmed the prepare message. We have trimmed the promise message. We have trimmed the accepted message and we have trimmed the decide message. The only one left is the accept message. And this we are going to take in the next unit. Thank you.